Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When these two coaches looked at their schedule in the early part of the season, they knew there was a great chance that this game would decide the division. They've built their teams up and gotten them ready for this moment. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Stadium in Tallahassee. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Smith is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 33. taken down right around the 30 so they wrapped him up before he could get anything going yeah there was nothing there on that option zips it to the back and down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. That brings us fourth and 15. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Georgia Tech's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. From the 40-yard line, second down. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. He's tackled at the 41. It didn't really seem to me that anybody on this offense really knew where that option was going. Fortunately for them, they were able to hang on to the ball. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. From the 27-yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 18. 
That'll make it second in inches. Let's go, D. Let's go. Back 22, back 22. He makes his way out to about the nine. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings up second and goal. Laterals back. And he shoved out of bounds just outside the goal line. Georgia Tech's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. The Yellow Jackets are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Slings it to his fullback. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Gets it. He's in space. And he's leveled the 37-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 37-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 15-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, Georgia Tech leads 3 0. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. 
He tackles him for a loss, and they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He scrambles. Brought down at the 11-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. made right around the two-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Touchdown, Seminole. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 57-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Holloway has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pitches, and he's got room. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He fights forward to around midfield. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of seven on play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Makes it out to about the 30. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run there. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Caps picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to about the 10. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. 
Here he goes. Touchdown, Tech. That's how you're supposed to run the option. The defense just got lost there. They didn't account for everybody in the backfield, and the rest is history. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 60-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Smith ready to kick. Caught at the eight. Oh, what a hit. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Now he tries to buy some time. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Pressured and brought down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. positive yardage a little slyness to no avail they're far away from the sticks so well, there was a seam there but he couldn't get there quick enough this defense is deceptively fast Jackson is back deep to return the punt he gets out to about the 45 yard line I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He airs it out. No, incomplete. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver's getting up from that hit. This is a big hit by the defender. Quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken off. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. Going deep. Incomplete. down now and they need to get it inside the 45. He's under some heat. Tosses short over the middle to his fullback and he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. That was a well designed and executed pattern but on third down and forever it just wasn't enough. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. We played a half of football. The Yellow Jackets lead 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this. But when your when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 30. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Georgia Tech is up by three. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. On the pitch, look out, loose ball, and they fall on the loose ball. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Brown. Easy, 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 easy. Rich, rich. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. And he just slid down to avoid the contact there. You know, Brad, sometimes a quarterback's got to get down low to protect himself. But in this case, try to show some guts. Break a tackle and get downfield. Look for the first down. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. So they're going to go for it here. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 28. Georgia Tech is up a field goal. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Sacked on the play. Brooks will be the return man. Gets to about the 47-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He 
he's taken down around the 41 yard line. Second, and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. Ready? Omaha! Omaha! Runs outside for a nice game. Gain of four on the ball. That makes it fourth and inches. Maxi looking to get some distance on this one to give his team the field position advantage. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Georgia Tech has a three-point lead. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the option, and the big guy gets good yardage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. And they'll get him in the backfield. He's to the 40. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Back 22, back 22. He laterals the ball. Tackle around the 30-yard line. First and he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. Georgia Tech leads 10-7. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. Miller sweeps right, brought down at the 20 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. The 10. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Time to take a look at the Pac-12 where quarterbacks rule. The Wildcats have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Arizona leads it 7-0.
Ten point game here, Reese, 17 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the seven. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. The Yellow Jackets defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. They're ready to begin another drive. Golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. From their own 28-yard line, second down. He scrambled. Slides down. Weaver picks up about seven yards on the scramble. to pull it in and he's finally shoved out at the 39 that's a big play right there if they can get this ball into the end zone you're looking at a one possession game from the 39 yard line first down Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. He fights forward to about the 29. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Less than three minutes in the game. That quickly incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 13 yard line. Twelve yard line. That's a TD one on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the twelve yard line. Second down. And off to the left. He gets out to about the twelve yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. It's the 11th play of the drive. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. Taken back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. A little over a minute in the game. Nice run there. 
three, maybe four yards there on the option to the fullback. Florida State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. Makes it to the 31. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. And they get nice yardage on that run. Five yards there for the quarterback. The Seminoles using their third and final timeout. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 36. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Tackles him hard at the 40. He's lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that option. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 17-7, Yellow Jackets. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.